Now our textures are going to be quite easy to create. Apart from the diamond, the diamond is going to be the hardest one. Now that's because diamonds, the reason that they sparkle and give off those different colours is what you call light splitting. Now, light splitting is like when you when you shine a light into a prism or something like that, it will reflect out different colours. Of course. Now, Cycles is yet to support light, realistic light splitting, so we're going to have to fake it. So we'll start by selecting a diamond, and we'll add in our diamond material. So put this diamond, and this is going to be a glass BCF shader. Make sure you set it to a pure white. And index of refraction is going to be 2.417. Now that is the actual refractive index of diamond. And that there is going to be the perfect diamond shader. So what we need to do now though, is we need to add in some more. We need to add in a blue, yellow, green and red diamond. Which will go at different colours. So we'll go blue. This one here, we'll give this one here to be a mix shader. And the first shader is going to be a glass and second is going to be oh, there it is it's going to be a glass also so we are effectively going to be mixing together our white diamond 2.417 with a blue this one here index of refractive uh, index of refraction is also going to be 2.417. Now we're going to set our blend amount or our factor value up here to a 0.1. So it's only just a very slight amount because you don't want it to be bright blue. Um, I, I've personally never seen a bright blue diamond. If I had, I don't think it would be a real diamond. So 0.1 will be a good factor value there. If we tab into edit mode, and if we go control tab and select face, we can now select one, two, three, four. Maybe not that one. Select that one. And perhaps even select a one on the side there. We're going to click assign and make sure our make sure we assign the blue shader. And I'm going to change that viewport color to that one, just so I can see which ones have been shaded blue. And then just so I don't assign them something else, we're going to click press H to hide those. Now what I want you to do is uh, repeat that for, uh, let's go for green this time. One, two, three, and select that one down there. Add a new one. This we're going to select blue. A sign, call this one here green. And this one of course is going to be a bright green. Cool. Hide those. And let's go again. That one, that one, this one down here. Yeah, that one as well. Let's grab another one over here. And another one here. This is gonna be yellow, so we can do a couple more of these. Select blue, two, and call this one here green. Green. Okay. Oh, we're already done green. Oh, maybe I, maybe I did a green and we ended up with the yellow. My mistake. All right. Let's make sure this one here is green. Sign that and. We go Alt H and we select the green. Oh, there we go. I've done green twice. My mistake, we'll call this one here yellow. Or perhaps we'll call this one here green. Oops. Green and yellow. And now that one there's not going to call it green, is it? Green. Alright. Yellow. Let's make this one here yellow. Fantastic. 
All right, now the last one is one to be very careful with. You choose this one and one over there. And we're going to add a new one. This one here is going to be same as blue, let's call it red. And we'll assign that, and these are going to be red, of course. Cool. Now you want to be very careful with the red because it's a bit, um, it can be a bit overpowering. So let's go file, save as, make sure you, you save regularly, and you can save it to stage 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and texture our gold and silver. So it's quite easy, we're going to use a glossy, and we're going to use quite a mustardy colour. So roughly, let's go 0 0.65, 0 0.45, and 0. Uh, yeah. Alright. And that one there is pretty much our gold. Oh, we do need to change our roughness vector. Change the roughness to 0 0.01 just means that it's not going to be a purely crisp reflection. Make sure we call this one here gold and select the silver bands, add a new material, call this, oh, we're going to make this one here glossy, this one here is going to, we're just going to call it silver and it's more of a white gold but silver works fine. Make sure it's a pure white and the roughness of 0.01. Now if you want to use uh, what's called rose gold instead of silver, uh, rose gold gold's quite a, a very subtle pinky red colour, um, would also look quite nice in the scene, but because we're going to be using uh, a bit of a red glow and compositing, uh, we're going to leave that at this stage. Alright, now the ground plane. We need to texture that, actually before we texture the ground plane, we need to make sure we've got our chain needs to be using gold as well as all of these. So select all of these. Control L materials. So these should all be using gold now. And let's go back to our rings. Okay, so our ground plane. Let's add in a new one. We're going to call this one here floor. Now for this, we're going to be using a velvet BSDF shader with a pure white value. And we're going to use a sigma of 0 0.7. Now the sigma is basically works with how the light is scattered when it hits the surface, which gives it that velvety look. Now if you're doing this in a scene of a, you know, in a jewelry store, you might want to use like a deep purple, uh, but because of what are the effect that we're going for on the compositor, we're going to leave this pure white at this stage, and that will be fine. Right. So that there is all our texturing complete.